Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. I will show you today how to make elephant ear or pinwheel cookies. This is such an easy recipe and a real decoration on any table. And the crispiness is really one of the reasons why you should try this recipe. I will not tell you more. Stay in the next few minutes with me and see. First sift the flour, then add inside all ingredients. Sugar, salt, sour cream, softened butter, vanilla extract and milk. Mix it until you get a firm and non-sticky dough. Then cover it with plastic foil and let it rest for 30 minutes. After it rested, divide the dough on two halves. One half leave aside and in the other add cocoa powder. If you have trouble mixing it, feel free to add one teaspoon of water and then knead the dough. Now prepare two sheets of baking paper. On one, put white dough, cover it with another paper and with the help of roller, roll it into a rectangle thickness of two to three millimeters. Do the same with the dark dough. Try to roll the rectangle the same size of the previously rolled white one. Take the milk and brush all over the surface of the white dough. No need to put much, just to wet it. Now take the dark rectangle and with a paper transfer it onto the white rectangle and remove the paper. Feel free to push dark dough a bit toward the edges in case you didn't roll it evenly. Start taking the edges and move them towards the inside until you form a roll. Roll it a bit more and then wrap it in plastic foil. Leave it in a freezer for about 3 to 4 hours. Get it out of the freezer when it's basically half frozen. Remove the plastic foil and with a sharp knife start cutting slices thickness of about 2 to 3 millimeters. For me, they're much better when I cut them very thin as later this will increase their crispiness. While cutting them, start warming the oil for frying. Basically, it needs to be very hot as you need to put frozen slices inside of it. This will form a beautiful cone. Just don't overfill as they need to have space to shape themselves. Fry them approximately 30 seconds and when you see they are starting to get the golden edge, remove them and put them on a paper towel to soak the excess oil. I fry them a few seconds more as I like them this way, but it all depends on your taste. They look absolutely amazing on any party table. If you want, you can make a batch and keep them in a container. What I'm sure of is their crispiness will delight you. Enjoy! Thank you for watching my video recipe for elephant ear cookies and if you liked it, leave me a comment below the video and subscribe to my channel to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!